welcome back my friends for another review on Larry's Fountain Pens on the Visconti and this is called the Ragtime yeah and uh, it comes in this cardboard sleeve box on the outside your standard usual Visconti on the top of the uh, box it has the Visconti logo Firenze uh, that's the city back in Italy where they make these beautiful fountain pens. Now, I got this fountain pen <clears throat> on eBay off a uh, <clears throat> auction. And this particular pen got my interest. Well, let me open it up as I go. And I'll show you the pen case. Your typical Visconti logo on top. They're really a nice hard shell clamp shape kind of uh, pen case. So let's open her up when that clamp opens up. And you have your warranty card. Now this is new old stock. That's what I'm guessing at, okay? So don't take me verbatim because I'm not sure, but I'm thinking it is. Uh, I'm believing that these pens came out around 1991, maybe, when they first came out. I could be wrong. Uh, now... This isn't a special edition or limited edition. This isn't the gold nib, 18K or the 14K nib. So, it does come with a cartridge. So let me take it out of the pin case, close that up, and set that aside. Now, this pen is a slimmer pen. I like much more girthier pens, but what attracted me about this pen is the unique clip on it and the hardware and the beautiful emerald type looking color that it has. Uh, this is a resin material that's in the pen, but it's a gorgeous color. This emerald just really just makes it a beautiful look. It's a marble uh finish on the pen. It's a green marble, but I tend to call it an emerald because to me it looks like an emerald green, but it's a beautiful marble finish on it. And as you can well see, the clip is totally a different type of clip for Visconti. So the clip, I, I thought I was reading about the clip uh, for the ragtime it stood for something that I'm not sure of, so I'm not going to mention it. But if you recognize what the clip is, leave your comments below. Here you have your Visconti logo here. And then you have Visconti on the side of the ring of the clip. And then uh, rack time on this side. And on the other side, you will see if we can get a close-up shot. Uh, frenzy. Italy, where it's made. The home of Visconti. Beautiful clip, unique design. You know, I'm used to seeing the bridge clip, so this is a nice clip. Uh, Visconti logo on top. Uh, you come down the uh, clip, you'll see it has one uh, silver clip at the bottom base of the cap. Unscrew the pin and it does pose securely. I have small hands so this is you know adequate for my hands but if you like to post your pins you can do so. It might be a little long for some people uh, even for me to look at but I've written with it with the uh, cap posted. You don't have a real big uh, grip section going on here, but there's nothing that's going to be sharp or annoying or bothersome if you have a large, chunky fingers. Because, I'm telling you now, if you have large fingers, you probably be holding it right up in here. This is a cartridge converter. And the only thing that I found kind of different about it is that uh, the converter... I didn't think that the converter was going to be able to hang on to the connection inside because it wasn't, it, 
the the tip of the converter didn't go all the way in. I was hoping it'd go in up to here, but it didn't. It just barely goes on. But it hasn't come off, and I've been using the pin for some time now. So I've also heard that you can use this pin as an eyedropper, a little silicone grease, put it around there, boom, bang, you're done. Now, this has your, it's a steel nib with Visconti on there. And this nib, when I wrote with this nib, I was totally impressed. It really was a smooth, wet, beautiful nib. And I'm glad I won this pennant auction. Uh, it will make my rotation lift. Uh, more than once. So let's get to riding with this pin. And before I get to riding with this pin, the weight of this pin is only 17.9 G's. The length of the pin cap is 5.5 inches. Posted is 6.5 inches. Medium steel nib. Okay. Uh, 0 0.4 would be at the wide, widest point of the barrel. So, and the ink I'll be using today is Levenger Forest. So let's get to writing this Visconti. Beautiful writer. And this has a medium steel nib. And that's a Levenger Forest. And let's just do the wet test right now. Look at that. Just lays down that ink. Just lays it down beautiful. 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 Nice, wet, juicy. Just like I love it. Really, really. I'm really impressed with this steel nib. And there you see, you know, it doesn't have any ink flow issues whatsoever. No skips. It's not a dry nib, wet, juicy nib. Just a really nice nib. Reverse writing. And you will get it. There you have it. You do get it. You will get about a, I would say, a fine uh, nib variation on this because that, that would be a medium nib in reverse. I would take that as a fine, even extra fine. But it does lay down the ink still. I'm impressed with the nib. Totally impressed with it. Did a great job. And today's quote, we'll get that out and get that out of the way and done. Uh, we'll write it and Mr. Announcer will read it to you here. So let's get started with the quote. Because I can't read and write at the same time.
And I'll let Mr. Announcer give his two cents on that one. Uh, this says, What a wonderful life I've had. I only wish I had realized it sooner. And this is by Colette. And there you have it. So here is the pen. Beautiful. It really is a beautiful fountain pen. I do like the clip. You know, the clip has that little arch kind of like this, like you're going to go over a sea slope. And then around here you have a couple of bands you see holding the clip in place. And you can see this real good, the detail on that. And I'll turn it around here. Totally a different clip. And to be honest with you, not just the color of this uh, pen got my attention, but the clip as well. So, you know, I went for it. I needed it in my Visconti collection, and I got it. They do have the limited edition. I saw the 18K going to live, the 14K going to live. Uh, but that was kind of like out of my reach. But I do like Visconti a whole lot. Uh, and I've been lucky so far with nibs. Yes, every once in a while I may get a nib that's not up to par but that's for the next review i'm going to leave it at that so hey thanks for joining me today on larry's fountain pens and letting me share my ragtime visconti marble fountain pen which i call the emerald green beautiful nib and i hope you like the uh lavender forest color ink as well thank you take care have a good one and remember my friends don't text and drive <coughs> later. <laughs>